Hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am uh, ripping down my fence that I had started because of a couple reasons. One, the um, township told me that was not a authorized fence type and told me to wait until further information and stop construction of it. This was a couple months ago. And then I never heard back and never got any further instruction. So I waited all this time with an embarrassing partial fence. And then that guy quit or resigned or retired. I don't know what the story. And a new guy is there. And um, well, so I am going to take it down because it's just embarrassing to have a partial fence up all this time. And I'm not gonna wait any further for instructions. And now that I have the 300 feet of chain link fence I'm putting up around the garden and orchard area, I don't need this fence to stop the deer. Remember, I was going to go eight feet high to stop deer. All I need is four feet high to stop um, two-legged creatures from entering our property. And I can then still run my alarms through the wires as I had been doing anyway. So this is no longer necessary, and our yard will return back to the original four foot tall fencing that was there in the beginning and is grandfathered in. So that's what I'm doing. I, one board broke just because it was dry and then I pried out the piece of it, pried out another board and said, oops, I gotta get my camera. My internet is still bad. I'll do a video on that in its own, but I figured I'll let you watch me tear this apart because you watched me put it together. We'll do this together. So, all of this is just simply going to be firewood. No harm done, I hauled it into the yard, I prepped it, and now I'm gonna burn it. So, that'll be fine. I'm going to beat these apart later as well, and, um, Cut them up with a chainsaw. And that was a strong little bit of fence. It's all right. It'll be heat for the home. It'll heat our house. So yeah, we're just we don't need this now. Originally, it was going to be for the deer, like I said, and for people, but. Now we don't need this big fence. Anyway. So it doesn't matter. I think I built it pretty good though. Holds up nice. So, I'm just going to put the T posts. Well, most of the T posts are still in. Now, all I want to do is just run my alarms through them. No problem. I might need a hammer for this one. Can't believe it's not coming out. Oh well, I'll deal with that later. I'm trying to get the nails out so when I cut it with a chainsaw it's not going to be a big deal, you know. Keep it neat. Tear it apart in an orderly fashion. So I don't have a mess with a chainsaw later. Some of these were not very good anyway. They were a little bit aged. I'll get out here tonight with a chainsaw and rip that apart into nice sizes. For home heating. Well, I'll keep going. 
That looks weird. It opens it right up. I actually like the privacy of that little bit of fence. Well, we're going to have, we don't need it now because the whole entire garden is going to be fenced in and I've got the permission to do it. So that's all good. That's all going to be enclosed now. So all this has got to go to firewood. I'm going to find my hammer and tap out the nails and uh, then I'll get my chainsaw, cut them up and be done with it. And then uh, string the wire up on the T-post, run my alarms in it, in case somebody tries to cut a wire and pass through, and we're good to go. That one's in there. Okay, that one's ready for cutting. but it's not coming through. There we go. Well, that piece is ready to go. I'll get them off the road as I go so they're out of people's way. I mean, it's my, my property, but still. It looks better as I move along. That'll open up for our plants better. All of our little shrubs and plants here will get better light, so that's all right. This was a dual purpose idea to stop deer and people. Now I don't worry about the deer or the people. Nails out. Get that done. Well, there's my fence. Not so much when it's piled up. So uh, later on this evening, I'll get the chainsaw going and cut that up. Got a little bit out in front of the electronics shop I want to cut up as well. I'm just going to um, take off the wire, and two of them have big spikes, and one has a piece of wire on it still. And I'm going to get that all off and. Actually, I think there's more campfire than house firewood because it's a little bit uh, thin for home heating. It'll just burn too fast. No, the, uh, the logs, the uprights there, they'll be okay for home heating. That's a couple days of heating, actually. So, not too bad. These, yeah, I don't think they're worth it. I think they're going to be campfire. Melanie's been having her campfires in the evenings here. She likes that, so... And in the morning sometimes, she likes to have her campfire, and I like to sit on 
out and uh, just enjoy the, the sun rising. Well, that's it for now. I'll get this cut up later and uh, we'll see the remains and that'll be the end of this video. Well guys, I'm a little exhausted. I'm all sweaty. It's very, very humid right now. I just cut that up until the gas can ran out. Well, I cut a another pile in front of my electronic shop and then until I ran out of gas in the uh, uh, chainsaw. I got a little, little piece and a <clears throat> little piece. I'll put them in the, the fire pit so you can burn them. Well, my fence is reduced to a pile of logs. Some will go for Melanie for cooking. She likes to cook with that. Some will go in the fire pit and some will go for heating the house. And that's it. There's our fence. All gone. That's the end of that fence, and uh, we'll just keep what we had originally. The T-posts and wire. And that's it. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Another day is coming to a close. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off-the-grid on a budget. And hopefully, if we ever get internet going properly again, we'll be back to daily videos every day on the homestead. Talk to you later.